Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for looking. Oh, I was proud of that one. We are the real <laughs> pineapple. This is Hunter here. I'm here with Colin. Colin, how are you, sir? I'm doing so good. It's great. It's great to be on on uh, the mic. <laughs> oh, dude, it's always good to hear you on the mic. Um, so we're talking about a movie real quick here because uh, the sequel actually comes out. I uh, this uh, this weekend, which I'll have a review up for. I will say one of like. You know, we're we're heading towards the end of the year. This is one of my uh, most anticipated films for the rest of the year. I must admit, I am I'm giddy as shit to see this. Uh, uh, but we're talking about uh, we're talking about Kingsman Secret Service, which is based off of the uh, Mark Miller uh, graphic novel. Um, uh, of course, Mark Miller did Kick Ass, and uh, so I will say, I. How do I put this? I'm a pretty big fan of Colin Firth. I think he's always been just a very like charming dude. Um, th- even though he's in those terrible Bridget Jones movies, that's how talented he is. Like he's good in even those. Um, he plays uh, in this movie. He plays a uh, Harry, and I just gotta say, this is almost like this is like a half Colin Firth movie. Um, half uh, Teron Edgerton who plays Exy. Um, I I adore this movie. I think this movie is great. Um, I know big spoiler on my uh, <laughs> on my rating, but yeah. Uh, well, Col- it's I mean it's been three years now since it came out, which is cra- I, 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 every year I feel like this movie came out last year, but <laughs> it just feels like really recent. No, it, it, it's really true. So, I mean, just just kind of going through this really quickly. So, uh, Teron Edgerton, he plays Eggsy, who's this kind of, you know, this, uh, what would they say in England, uh, street smart bloke. Does that, does that sound right? Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that sounded like you were right out of England. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like like a young Idris Elba, but... Uh, <laughs> but, but and better but looking, Egg- too. Oh, oh you charmer. But, uh, but uh, Eggsy is, like, you know, he's... He, he's just fucking around. He's just doing stupid shit, like stealing people's cars and just like, <laughs> doing donuts, like like with a massive group of people that wanted to kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, like just, just kind of being a grade A asshole. But one thing I do appreciate about him is that he just he can talk shit and he just knows what he's doing, even when he's being a fool. And so he gets in trouble because yeah, he steals his uh, was his uh, dad's uh, his his like the girl or the the guy that his mom is. Like fooling around with, or mm-hmm. it's his son, if memory serves. Yeah, it's his son's car, right? Yeah, yeah, and he just steals and starts doing donuts because he's a dickhead, and and uh, he ends up getting arrested, and he ends up being uh, bailed out by uh, Colin first character Harry, who mm-hmm. um, you find out that Exy's dad was a was like an OG Kingsman, uh, if you will, and I will, uh, and so. <laughs> um, Colin, uh, so Harry visits uh, Exy when he's like three or four and gives him this coin, basically uh, an actual get out of jail free card, <laughs> literally. Uh, just like, hey, if you're ever in trouble, you know, like, call this number. So he bails him out of jail and Harry sees, you know, potential in this uh, young bloke and so tells him, hey, you know, you should totally come, you know, wear cool suits to save the world. <laughs> and and I just got, I gotta say, uh, Damn, like, I, I want to do that. I want to be a spy. It'd be fucking cool. Like, <laughs> wear cool, wear cool suits and like use umbrellas and then, like shoot, <laughs> you know, shoot stun pellets or whatever the fuck they are. Like, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I, I so I will say about this movie. I think a lot of people, um, I I think it's very similar to Kick Ass, um, in the sense of if you're one of those people who's like, I need my superheroes, you know, super serious and. You know, in, in this and this and this, I think you will find ways to just not have fun with this. But for me, I just sat back and thought, I love the way the action is shot in this. Uh, you, you get to see Mark Hamill, uh, which, uh, <laughs> as as Colin said, is the reason he's been doing voice acting for the last few years. <laughs> he's looking better now, though. He's been, you know, getting ready for some Luke Skywalker shape, so that's good. Yeah, well, well you know, he learned from Carrie Fisher, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bowling my collar with my finger right now. Ooh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I love Carrie Fisher. I'm sorry. Do you? Like, it, was, it, was, it, was, it 
was there. It was there. She's very boneable, especially now. But anyway. Wow, getting into the necrophilia jokes early on this one. <laughs> oh, boy. That was, that was, I'm pretty proud of both of those. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> But I digress. Uh, but <laughs> you know, go ahead, talk about this movie. I'm just laughing. Yeah. Um, the thing I like about this movie, oh my god, <laughs> the train's off the tracks. Um, the thing I like about this movie is that it's like kind of like what if James Bond was kind of like Harry Potter? <laughs> you know. Wow. That. Dude, nail on the head. That that yeah, that's exactly. What this is. Yeah, I love this because like he's just like you know and you know Harry Potter's you know like a like a loser like he's unwanted by his family. So, but in the same sense, like uh, what what what's his what's the main dude's name? I always forget uh, how to pronounce uh, it. Eggsy. Yeah, Eggsy. Eggsy's like a, a you know total street rat type of you know dude who doesn't know his way he thinks he's you know he, he he doesn't know his father he's he's uh you know some lost boy and but he has a pet monkey so it's okay yeah it's a good boy yeah, yeah. um but yeah i i just i i that theme is always gonna get me where you know like the the diamond in the rough type of guy is picked out of obscurity and it turns out he actually has this like incredible um you know heritage and and prophecy to fulfill uh so you know and then he goes into like the craziest spy school ever um just to get you were not fucking around no no it was very it was very much not a a place that was fucking around (laughs) (laughs) yeah stakes stakes were very high um even if the curtain was kind of pulled back um near the end and they're like no we weren't gonna shoot your dog (laughs) you know we that 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 late that girl that died was actually just our intern she's fine (laughs) so you know what i will say though is um when they go they they talk about shooting the dog dude i wouldn't be able to do it like no they just show this adorable dog he has to shoot i was like jesus christ i could not (laughs) yeah that was actually one thing i had against the movie was that um Colin Firth was like, yeah, I was going to shoot my dog. And he's like, how did you shoot your dog? He's like, no. He's like, I didn't actually kill the dog. Like, it had a blank inside of it. And he's like, I raised and loved the dog. And I was like, you still pulled the trigger. Like, like, Colin Firth still was going to murder his dog. Like, so, like, it made me not like Colin Firth's character (laughs) after that. And I loved Colin Firth's character. Like, Harry Hart, like, that dude's a badass like he's like uh you know what what does he say like uh um uh, damn it it's like something maketh man right uh manners maketh man manners maketh man like he says that right before he's going to like fuck up a bunch of dudes in a bar <laughs> like hell yeah like dude harry hart's awesome but like once i realized that he was going to kill his dog i was like no oh, harry hart you can't be shooting the dog <laughs> but uh you know that aside he's like the, one of the more, more badass characters um in recent years that i've encountered in in movies so i want to talk about a guy um who ends up being uh, uh who plays merlin who's kind of like the trainee mark strong i really like mark strong and i i just wish he was in better shit <laughs> i really like him yeah i like mark um, strong too um, I know you like the movie, but he was in the bu- uh, the Brothers Grimsey. I fucking hated that movie so much. Brothers Grimsey. Oh yeah, yeah. With Sasha Baron Cohen. Yes, I fucking hate that. Movie. That movie's funny. That movie's so dumb. <laughs> Come on. But, but, was, but I mean, he was in like Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, yeah. He was in John Carter. Uh, he was in uh, John Carter. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I know, <laughs> but he was a uh, Lord Blackwood and Sherlock Holmes. Um, yeah, I actually loved him in that. He was um, fucking a f- uh, he was the mob boss in Kick Ass, and he was a dick in that. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a pretty good villain though. Like he made you hate him. 
Yeah, and then um, what kills me is that as bad as Green Lantern was, uh, he was Sinestro, and he was the one good thing about that fucking movie, and he'll never get to play Sinestro again because DC's like, fuck that movie, you won't want to remind people of it, it which is a shame, because I, I, I really fucking like him, love him as Sinestro, but he's really awesome as Merlin. Um, so I'm just going to kind of address the thing that needs to be addressed. Um, Colin Firth gets shot. <laughs> like point blank range like through the head and if you've seen the trailers for the secret circle uh kingdom in the secret circle he's back and i'm really curious twin brother <laughs> you know what uh, that's what po- a we popped to mind or yeah. cloning <laughs> they're just they're just gonna pull a landfill all a beer fest <laughs> And they're just going to be like, yeah, and, you know, Harry told me everything about you guys, so I feel like we don't have to have that awkward catching up phase. <laughs> I, you know, I hope they say that verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> but that would make me very happy. Yeah, and but... he's like, and like, in the spirit of Harry, you should just call me Harry, so I'll be Harry Hart. <laughs> like, that would be, if they did that, I would be like, this movie's already a 10. <laughs> yeah, it, like, it's starting on an A. Yeah, but, perfect, um, perfect movie already. But uh, let, just to jump in real quick, uh, Samuel L. Jackson plays a Valentine who, I, I have to admit, yes, the vi- the plot is silly, you know, global domination. But to be honest with you, if there was a way you were going to take over the world, offering the people, uh, offering the world uh, free internet and free cell phone service, that's a pretty good way to do it, honestly. I went, yeah. you know, like that's why I couldn't even really hate on the plan. I was like, people wouldn't be dumb and I thought about it I'm like yeah people would be dumb enough to not want to pay for internet every kid so yeah then. I agreed yeah I thought I thought it was a good I thought it was a good plot for like this type of movie and it was like it was like James Bond but it was kind of tongue-in-cheek at the same time so I felt like you know like everybody getting a chip and planted into them like to some extent like something like that could happen maybe not that's ex- extreme but like I agree like I, I love the plot I thought it was great yeah, it actually worked surprisingly well, and then, um, and then uh, <laughs> Sophia Botella, who recently, of course, uh, starred alongside Tom Cruise in The Mummy as The Mummy. Um, God, what a dog shit movie! But she, um, she plays, uh, she plays a gazelle, and she's like walking on. She doesn't have legs. She has like swords, basically, for like feet. And if there's a complaint, I thought the last fight scene between her and Exy, while it's not bad, I think the biggest problem is that Colin Firth has the two best action scenes in the movie, and so when you get to the third one, you're kind of expecting, you know, something really high-octane, and you just don't really get it. Uh, kind of your thoughts on that. Um, you're talking about uh, Gazelle, is that right? Gazelle, the, yeah. Yeah. I thought, dude, I thought Gazelle, like, that's like a classic like henchman style like just like um the dude that used to like throw his hat in in 007 odd job yeah odd job or like jaws like the guy with like like i thought like they were setting out to to have that you know iconic henchman type of villain so i loved gazelle like she slices some dude in half like it like it early in the movie like with her legs because they're because you know i just realized now that she's called gazelle and she has like the two prosthetics so she like runs like a gazelle or whatever like that's yeah. that's funny but like <laughs> but like they they have like the crazy samurai swords that like extend out um yeah i i mean it, it was it was it was cool i think i just i really liked her character in general just because like that shit's so crazy um that you know, I, I was interested to see how she, you know she was gonna get killed, um, but yeah, I, I guess I could. That's fair. Like, it was, it could a little underwhelming. Like after you see like Colin Firth like kill a bunch of people in a church in the most okay. like ridiculous way ever. Like it definitely like <laughs> pales in comp- comparison to that. So let's talk about that real quick. That scene in the church is maybe one of my favorite fight scenes in the last five years i fucking love that fight scene so much it's just calling for being a fucking g and just in the best way while fucking free bird plays. yeah oh it couldn't God. have been a better song 
Yeah, no, it really couldn't have been. And there's this amazing, there's this really subtle, but I just thought it was, it really put the uh, the scene over the top for me where um, a bomb, like a bomb goes off and like it fades the song in and out, like distorts it. Like you're here, like you're in his head. And I just went, damn, that's a, that's a very subtle, but such a cool touch. And I, I, I just loved it. I love that scene. Um, yeah, and it's 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 crazy that you're watching a scene where I mean they set it up so that like you don't like anybody in the church because it's like a bunch of like extremist like hate like bunch of racist like um, y- you know bigots like horrible people inside this church. You know that being said, do they all deserve to get massacred? Like probably not. Uh, but y- y- but they, they set it up in such a way that, like, you know, he's not controlling himself as he's, like, you know, he, he's he's fell victim to this, you know, this grand plan to make everybody kill each other. So, like, once you understand that and you're just like, okay, like, Colin First not actually doing this himself. He's, like, under the control of Samuel L. Jackson right now. Down. All right. Let's do this. Like, let's let's watch him kill everybody in this church. I'm in. Like, let's ride this roller coaster. And, like, it's so awesome. Yeah. It, it's, it's the way the whole scene just plays out. I, uh... So I don't know if anyone else has this. I'm sure a lot of people do. I have YouTube Red because I just love being able to download, like you know, Google like YouTube something and just download on my phone. Um, I have the shirt scene saved on my phone because I just love that scene so fucking much. Uh, it's great. And then there's even um, the whole manners make of man scene where he. Uh, where he just goes, you know, like, hey guys, like, I'm having a really rough day, and, like, if you just let me finish my Guinness first, that'd be super chill. Like, he just looked as nice as possible about it. Yeah. And then they, and he tries to leave, and then they assault him, and he just kind of looks back like, god damn it, like, I was trying so hard to be good, and you just, you just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut. So, it's, and that scene's amazing. Um, I, one thing I do really appreciate is that they, they put these kids or these young adults um, through some really tough shit. I mean, there's there's this whole skydiving scene where I went, damn, okay, that's intense. Um, there's a scene where they're tied, they're tied to, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got a little got a little country there. They're tied to, <laughs> they're tied to railroad tracks. And they're, and they're basically told, like, hey, tell us what Kingsman is by this, you know, this... Uh, you know that classic you know uh international villain uh and it, the, the it's pretty crazy what they put them through and it's it's pretty awesome to see how each person kind of reacts and how some people just break you know immediately but Exy is kind of an asshole but in like the best way because he gets he gets it and he thinks he's smarter than everybody and he's he's a he's quite smart actually the more you get into it and what was cool for me as we kind of wrap up here is that by the time he puts on you know his like his suit and like you know makes his kind of his moves and everything and becomes like an official kingsman you feel like it's earned by the end of the movie it's, it's definitely not something that they just kind of toss in like he has to go through some shit <laughs> to become a kingsman um Including a twist with a character played by Michael Caine, which I'll be honest, I, I, I had a feeling it was like it's probably it's him, it's you or you. So when it happened, I kind of went, well, all right, but um, yeah, I just I I, I adore this movie, honestly. Uh, it's it's a damn good movie. So um, I will say personally, I would give this a solid A. Um, I think the only reason I wouldn't give it a fan fucking tastic, and oh my god, how did I not mention Samuel Jackson is doing like a great Mike Tyson impression, <laughs> which just made me laugh the whole time. <laughs> and you know he's wearing you know a Yankees hat with suit, which is so Samuel <laughs> Jackson. But uh, I I just I, he was great. I thought he was just hilarious, and um, yeah, I, I there's really not. I, I, I'm trying to think what there really is to complain about. I mean, I thought, again, I thought the last action scene was kind of eh. And if you don't like kind of cheesy sometimes and kind of over the top, you probably won't enjoy this because 
you're that person who doesn't like Slam and Sam and the Super Troopers, therefore you don't like nice things. Uh, but <laughs> um, you're probably that person who goes, oh, Girls is a great TV show. It's not. But, <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoyed the hell out of this. So, solid day for me. Uh, call in your thoughts and great sir. Yeah, uh, I, I love the way it plays out. Like I mentioned before, like the similarities to... Um to Harry Potter and, and, and other movies that kind of take the, uh, the underdog and, and, you know, he, he finds out his true purpose and, and, and goes through the, the trials and tribulations to become, you know, this, uh, person he's meant to be falling in his, in his father's footsteps, even though he, he had no idea his, his dad had this, this life. Um, like th- that is the underlying story. Like, um, it, it, it sets up for a great movie. Um, on top of that you get incredible action scenes uh this this movie's really violent um but it's done in in like a comic book kind of uh you know like kick ass or 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 sin city way it's it's over the top but it's but it's fun at the same time uh you you know there's there's parts that i i get i i roll through this movie a couple times there's some some really cheesy stuff but the the good really outweighs the bad in this movie um and it's very rewatchable there's a lot of scenes that i feel like are almost kind of iconic at this point and it's you know only three years old um so like when when the the golden circle was coming out i was like oh i gotta i gotta rewatch kingsman so i i bought it um to rewatch again and here we are reviewing it um it holds up it's really good matthew vaughn um you know he moved on from the x-men movies and decided to, to you know take his talents to south beach uh, over here in, in Kingsman, and and uh, you know we 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 uh, you know we got an awesome movie because of that. So yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. I was gonna I was gonna put this at like an A minus. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Statesman is just gonna improve upon that. You know yeah. maybe we'll get something that's even better. Um, like you were saying with the like we were talking about manners maketh man and and the proper gentleman like um, nature of of all the Kingsmen and Colin Firth. You know he's such a badass, but you wouldn't think it because it's just like kind of this stuffy old Englishman. Um, it's going to be awesome to see the the dichotomy that that uh, presents itself when we when we get the statesman with Channing Tatum and my nigga C. Tatum. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. And uh, and Jeff Bridges being you know the the ugly Americans, um, you know swinging their guns and lassos around. Uh, I think the the next movie it could be one of those situations where the sequel is better than the first one, but we'll find out. You know, fingers crossed. You know what I mean. So, uh, but yeah, man, the, I, I love Kingsman. It's very rewatchable. Yeah, I, I just, I'm pumped for Kingsman, man. I, I, I've been watching the trailer a lot recently, and, and Eggsy, he, he just, he's such a prick because he knows how good he is, and I just, he almost like, he's like a white Kobe. Like Kobe was an asshole to his teammates because he knew how good he was and he could afford to be. Eggsy's just like, yeah, like I'm a super chill spy, bro. Whatever. Like, <laughs> like it, it just looks great. And seeing Jeff Bridges, and in, in anything just makes me, my heart happy. So I'm, I'm stoked as hell for this. So, uh, yeah, guys, have you seen Kingsman? Um, I, I haven't read the graphic novels in a while. I, I would actually probably be. Contri- uh, curious to go back and read those but uh guys let us know you thought of kingsman are you pumped for the uh golden circle julianne moore is the villain i just find that very interesting it you know you go from one oscar nominee to another and apparently they're already playing out a third so i'm 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 down but uh guys let us know what you thought in the comments below you can follow us on facebook at the real pineapple you can subscribe to us on podbean itunes soundcloud uh, and Google Music at the Real Pineapple. You can follow yours truly on the Twitter at J Hunter Real Pineapple. You can follow Scott on Twitter at Nearman the First, and you can follow Colin on Twitter at The Real Neil. Guys, thank you so much. We'll have reviews up this weekend for Kingsman: The Golden Circle, uh, The Big Sick, because <laughs> Colin has been talking about that movie. I'm like, damn it, we got to do that. And then um, I'm actually going to review The Tick season one tomorrow night when I get home, and we will have a review up as well for Mother. I'm really curious what we're all gonna think about that. That that I think that could be a divisive, uh, <laughs> could be a divisive review. But uh, guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.